Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Overslept, an adventure horror game where you must navigate a spooky hospital from someone who's seemingly very tall. This game, you have four lives. The game is over and has to be started when you lost all four of them. You'll be mapped up by the knowledge you need on where it's safe or unsafe. The way to deal with those things you encounter in games is to run or hide lockers until it is gone. Do as required and get out of the building. Can you even save? Hmm. I would hope you can save. <laughs> Overworking creates stress on both body and mind. Over time, you may start to see signs of fatigue. Over sleeping mood and attitude changes, and sometimes you may even start to see things. I'm Jazlyn, a doctor in the hospital. I've been working for over three years. Day to day, I tend to patients, working together with my manager, nurses, and admin to keep our workflow running smoothly. That was until I got so tired that I was no longer able to find the energy to get back home after work. I started sleeping after work, taking a small nap to recharge myself. My colleagues would wake me up every day for me to head home. But yesterday was different. Nobody woke me up. I overslept and... Got myself stuck in a horror game. That's why I did. Boy, I have some... I got some eyes there. The lack of mouth and the eyes, it makes me think of, like, a Martian. Sweetie, are you working out today? Yeah, I'll be home for nine as always. Over time. Made your favorite tummy on pasta. I will reheat them when you're back home. Oh, Reaching home soon? I tried calling, but you couldn't get through. Sweetie, you're worried about you. Reply whenever you can. Your dad is driving over now. It's already midnight. Why didn't anyone wake me up today? I hate to take the lift to get out. Oh no, my work pass. I might have left it back in the pantry. Staff nurse photo. A photo from our staff nurse Denise. Why is it in my office? Someone carved red markings over the picture and looks eerily like blood. So if I want to hide in a locker. Interesting. So you can move off and right with the uh, WASD keys, but you can't go through doors. Like it doesn't register W and S. It's a little weird. Consultation room 62. Okay, so we were in 61. That means we are in the hallway. It means we will go to the right. Take us to the counter. Medical records. Conference office. Hmm. Looks like you want me to solve some kind of puzzle with these items. Looks like we won't be doing that yet. What was that? It's a horror. Horror situation, that's what it is. We did see one symbol. It was this one, right? Point pretty much. Hell, hi! Run! Run! Did I already die? Yeah. Damn. So out of curiosity, I restarted. I want to see if you can escape, because there's no sprint button. I mean, we can even check the controls. Yeah, there's no sprint. You just go left and right. And that's locked, so you have to make a straight run. Let's see if we can make it this time. In, 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 in! Oh god. Don't check the one place you can check in here. Okay, so you can survive the opening. It just requires you to bolt as soon as you get the chance to. Okay. I think I'm good. I don't think you're advanced in AI enough to like come back and be like, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, you were just in that locker. Let's bring it back here. 
the left way I think is a dead end. Hmm. Patience detail sheets. Remember patients Mr. Von Tick? It's easy to recognize him from his towering height and his unsettling appearance. Oh, well, he's a fine enough guy. His phone number is just 4444444. I mean, that's not, you know, a, a bad number or anything representing, you know, evil or bad luck or death. Let me look at my map. We are in front of the storeroom. Okay, so we just went past the, the medical records in the counter. This is a safe zone, actually. Supposedly it's a safe zone. Of course. Oh, we can leave. Hmm. Claims it's safe. But is it? Why is there, like, evil symbols in front of my elevator? Pharmacists. The both images have their mouths stretched out unrealistically long. Eyes at different proportions gives off a ghastly ambience that fills the room. But from the understanding of this picture, as long as the lights are on, everything will be fine. Oh god, no. There's someone in the pharmacy. I need to quickly turn the lights on. Damn right there's someone in the pharmacy. You saw that thing walk off the edge of the screen? What do you think it is? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run up here. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Yeah, that's right. What are you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna walk by. Don't grab me. <gasps> no! Hmm. It's either the lights are on a hard time limit, or there's nothing for me over there. But I suspect there's something there for me. Run. Run. Keep running. Okay, so this is a safe zone. Okay, so next area would be the other hallway, which is room 63, as it shows right there. The pantry, the toilet, which is a safe room, and the office at the far end. Happy Mother Day. Never symbol. It's your Mother's Day drawing done by Miss Dr. Karen's son. Written markings on her face look disturbing in our place. Oh! That's right, you can't touch me in a locker. Yeah, so you're not safe when examining things. That's kind of upsetting to me. It's very upsetting to me. That means I have to, like, speed read everything. Whoa, oh, oh, you're right over there, buddy. There's my ID card, my work pass. I can usually get access to the back office. Eat healthy. Pantry is not safe, by the way. It could easily come in here, but it was going to the... Oh, okay, that's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. Oh crap. Already. It's already here. We're safe here though. This is a safe zone. Can't come in here. Um, We can go the other way around, possibly. Go for the office to the conference room. Just went into one of the rooms. This is where I wanted to go. Yes. Now we are in the office. Don't you dare come in while I'm reading this. Totally is dirty again with these goddamn irresponsible people. I got sold by Mr. Jonathan again. Why are they making life so hard for me? What do they want from an old lady like me? Why, 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 why? I know, it's just gonna be those few that do it all the time. They better start running. 
It could be coming here. The pinboard vaults with the task and schedules pinned on it. The big free. Yeah, blah, boo. I'm safe in the conference room, I think. No, I'm not. Yeah, that game is a little on balance, I think, pacing wise. I'll give you the opportunity to read something if you can't read it. You know what I mean? So at least like the like the South School is an example. At least the Al Oni chase you when you entered a new room. The numbers hide in shadows where eyes can't see. Strike the chimes according to what it should be. The table looks strangely familiar. Could be in the storeroom. If I recall correctly, the key to the storeroom was in the medical records office. Hmm. Well, we couldn't get in there with enough symbols. Yellow label written P6, port number 6. I should switch on the port from the medical records office. This is what I wanted to read. How many of this object are found level 6 of our hospital? Ah, it's getting annoying. You gotta count these actual objects. Holy crap. Wrong way! Yeah, so it hovers nearby. Like, it's not unlike it's doing a full loop around the hospital. Uh, it, it wants to kill me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm basically just going to keep a tally as I pass by him. Ken, Karen, Joff, and Denise, and Alma. Hmm. The faces are torn off. I should look for the pictures of these five. Maybe I can find out something. As for Alma's picture, I should go to a toilet see if I can find anything there. Well, there was one photograph in here. Ah, it's the order. I see. And it's randomized every playthrough. What is this? Are you important? Can. Okay, now we can make a full loop of the office. Not sure, not that way, not that way. Oh, we lost it. We actually gain enough distance. Well, I'm gonna go the other way and check the other side instead of checking that way, then. You win, buddy! Okay. Toilets should be safe. It's locked. Hmm. Don't you dare jump scare me. Hey, occupied. Well, that's another part of our puzzle solution. This is the enter password button for the numeric lock outside the medical records office. Okay, so they wouldn't even let you put the password in, so you can't, like, brute force it too early. Uh, let me check how many of these passwords we have. Um, we actually got all of them, so we actually could solve that. So, let me put my A data in. So, I'm gonna go input that information. Whoop! Okay, so I think it's like nine books, possibly four. Four, five lighters. I hope they're not lighters. They're uh, like sprays and like two orbs. Maybe, maybe three orbs. 
There could be another room we're not seeing where there's more stuff in it. I'm assuming the books in the one shelf counted anyway. I, I could be wrong. But I think the number only goes up to nine, so I'm gonna go with nine books. Two at the lowest. Alright, so let's put this password in. I think I have everything. I need to solve this. I don't think you guys count as the books, right? I hope not. Should be in there. Yeah. And just literally just yeah. 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 Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna make my way to the left, because that thing might be right behind me, because I don't think this is considered a safe room. Because there's a locker here. There's also another orb. So let's tally another orb. I'm gonna hit a random thing. I'll see if that works. Hope for the best. Hopefully nothing's coming in here. Because I'm going to make my way to the safe room. That is over here. Bam. Storeroom is safe, so there's no reason not to go in it. Okay. What do we, what do we have here? Hmm. Zhang Zhi. Not working for Zhang Zhi. A closer inspection looks almost like a real head is stored inside a container. It is. There's another orb here also. So four orbs, huh? Huh. You must have to do something with that head. Okay. Let's see if we can solve this now. Nope. Whoa. You seem to love it interrupting me during puzzles, my friend. Okay, I got it. Cool. I don't know why I did, but I did something. Hopefully our friend is not out here. Uh, we still need to go and activate the thing in the one room with the projector. I did not know if I flipped the right switch because I did not remember what switch I had to hit. So let's go back here. Be very careful. Yeah, the conference room. Port number six. I knew it was six. Dang it. I was self-doubting myself. I should have just hit six and called it a day. No. No, no. No, 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 no. You're not gonna cut me off at the pass, are you? You're a little awkward. A little bit awkward. Don't cover that door as I'm going through it now. I know you like to do that. Now I'm gonna go back the way I came. Might be a bad idea. It's a bad idea. We're gonna go back the other way. Because he was in that room. Or he had just opened it recently. He might be looping back around coming off of the pass. Could be doing that too. Very possible. Okay. Still don't understand your puzzle, my friend, but it's whatever. Don't beat me on this door! So, skills Manly has. Prediction. I'm a new type, you see. If you don't know what a new type is, look up Gundam. Oh, okay. I'll go away. So 
So 88. I don't know how this interprets here. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was a loud noise in the direction of the pharmacy. I am apparently doing things correctly without knowing what I'm exactly fully doing. I have like a vague idea what I may or not be doing. Sorry, Mr. will not play with fire again. The blue flame. Flames are hot, but the blue ones are not. Stay under it, but don't get caught. It's a little different now. Da 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 da! 88. Okay, so it just also shows the number here that we got earlier. No! Oh, I had to reactivate the light. I had to stay at it and then reactivate it again to buy me more time. I think. So make sure I hit the button again. On my way out. Okay. Give me enough time, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whew. Are we free? I'm out of here. Going back home. Gonna play on my PS5, which I don't have. Well, that's what you get for oversleeping. Overslept. Over in the gallery. Why is Miss Tam so angry? Special. Sleeping at work. Hot coffee. Peekaboo. Pointless meaning. Mischief. So that's it for Overslept. It was an alright horror game. Maybe think of kind of like... Kind of like a flash horror game in that sense. In that format where you're kind of just going back and forth. Don't get caught. It's short form. But you may like run a little bit longer because, you know, there is limited lives. And the puzzles take some thought into the... Probably its greatest strength is the puzzles. And the monster design is actually kind of creepy looking. It doesn't really get to fully shine because the game is... Once again, a little bit too short. At least I said outside of you trying to solve the puzzles. But certainly not a bad horror game by any means. I put it very much in the realm of kind of like... Kind of like an arcade game where it's... You kind of get in there. Every little bit of fun. You enjoy yourself. It's nothing really complicated to it. And then it's over. Because I'm quoting that term. Arcade style horror. I feel like that's a really apt way to describe games like this. Anyway. So thank you all for watching me play Overslept. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.